When I first purchased this S -Bit X version three, one of the main things I wanted to do with this is use it self-contained for digital modes inside this without having a separate computer. PSK31, Riddy, Contestia, Thor, Domino X, Hellschreiber. You can do all of those in this um, without having a computer next to it. You see right now somebody is, what is that? Is that Domino X, Thor? I can't, now, I can't remember what that is. That's a digital mode that somebody's playing with. And how would I talk to them, right? Uh, keyboard to keyboard chat. That's one thing you can do. I'm going to switch to camera view and show you a couple of things that I learned about this. In the, the mode here, right, right, this comes with, um, like when you switch, you know, to, to uh, uh, upper side, CW, you know, stuff like that, um, lower side. Well, there's a RIDI and a PSK31 and an FT8 mode. Now the FT8 mode works directly on the screen here, um, the way it is, but the PSK31 and the RIDI do not. You have to use FL Digi, which is another software suite in here, um, in the menu, in the ham radio folder. And I'm gonna show you uh, how I, a couple things I did to get it working and how you can actually do that. And um, again, no computer needed. So this thing is now really shaping up to be you know, a really, really powerful radio. In the beginning, I thought, well, that sucks. You can't do, you know, Olivia and Contestia and stuff like that. But actually, you can. I had to figure it out. It's, it's in there. I, I always used Digital Master 780 in the uh, uh, HRD bundle, Ham Radio Deluxe bundle. But I, I don't really use Ham Radio Deluxe. But I do use DM780. And that's how I used to do Hell Schreiber and Thor and all those kind of digital modes. Um, but... I've had to get used to this instance of FL Digi that's built into here. So let me let me zoom in real, real quick and show you. And by the way, uh, I have my little Bluetooth keyboard here, which um, it's got the touchpad on it, and, and the link is in the description. And it's like 15, 17 bucks on on Amazon. And I could type messages and have actual keyboard to keyboard communications um, with other people. And having a little more power on this compared to the 705 makes it just a little bit easier. You know, running 15 to 20 watts on here on some bands, um, like 20 and 40 meters, makes it a lot, uh, a lot easier and a lot more fun to do stuff all in one box here, the SPIDX version 3. So I'm learning. Let me show you what I've learned so far. Okay, so... The first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is this mode button up here. And just to reiterate, whenever you pick something on here, like if I click the mode, this knob up here on the top right turns into like a function knob. So now I can scroll this knob like this. Just like when you click volume, you know, the top right knob is now controlling volume. One thing you wanna pay attention to is you wanna first set your mode to digital. Set your band. I'm right here on the PSK frequency, okay? And if you want to turn your audio off a little bit. All right. Now, you want to go down here to pitch, right? Your pitch is where you're going to be able to change. I'll show you. Click on pitch. And then you go up here to um, ham radio folder and click FL Digi. All right. Now, you want FL Digi to connect within the radio uh, locally so that it controls the, the, the transmit and the radio, okay? For instance, um, configure and let's see, how did I, rig control, okay? All I really did was I went here to Hamlib and turned use Hamlib on. That is going to connect, from my understanding, the FL Digi software to the transmitter in here. And at this point, you're not going to need to go back to the SBIDX software unless you want to change bands completely. All right, but once I did that, I hit save and close. I, turn, I close this program and I open it again. And now you can see up here in the top left, 14.070. And I could use the VFO knob on the bottom right now to, to get to where I need. And then the top right knob, look on the bottom. You know, on the waterfall here, I could change my pitch. So on a busy day, You'll have to, you know, you can see somebody down here um, on certain places in the waterfall, different tones, you know, and, and click on there, and their conversation is going to start popping up on the top. Okay, now this is just noise, so you're not it's just giving you scrambled letters. But look at this, operator mode. You can do CW even on here, CW keyboard. 
You know, contested. Domino X. Hell Shriver. Look. Where's Hell Shriver at? Oh, Hell Shriver or Feld Hell. Look. All right? Now you can actually do. You can call CQ on Hell Shriver. Nobody uses Hell Shriver as much, man. There's Hell, Hell Shriver Nets. Hell Shriver is so cool because you have to use your eyes to decode on the artificial ticker tape here what it's receiving from another station. So in a, in a noisy environment, you really have to use your brain to look through the static. You know, the more the less you know, the more noise you'll see over here is going to be like a, a white noise looking over here. If you had a signal coming in like this, that would be full scale, full quieting. So the the uh, noise is displayed as this, right? That's that's what noise is. And as somebody's coming through, you'll see the little letters printing in there. Really cool stuff. But also. I have a whole video on Hell Shriver you can check out. Uh, Thor, uh, WeFax even, um, Navtex, never, I never used Navtex, uh, PSK31, 63125, Olivia, MT63, uh, MFSK, where is that? Yeah, MFSK, Domino X, Contestra, I love Contestra. You know, and, and again here, 8500, right? It occupies your 500 bandwidth, uh, 500 hertz bandwidth here. And um, I guess that would be eight, eight tones or eight bits. So the wider, you know, that's a whole different topic. The, the, the idea is here that, you, you know, you configure a few things if you want to go up here to view. Uh, let's say configure, miss, where's that? Operator right here, All right? Put your information in there, your antenna and stuff. So that way, uh, and you could also change the user interface or the waterfall or whatever, you know, different colors. So you could do all this here in FL Digi, right? So like if you, these macros down here, it's like you can call CQ, you can answer, you know, so you can right click on the call sign of his and hit reply and it'll send it back. Then you can start typing down here, you know, right at the bottom. Hello, my name is Eric, oops, typing cockeyed here, is Eric using an SPIDX version 3 via FL Digi, right? And then you can send that and have keyboard to keyboard back and forth. Now, if you needed to go back to the SPIDX software uh, over here, and you can change it like to 15 meters, right? Change your mode to digital. Go down here to pitch. Hit the pitch. Go back to FL Digi. See? Now I'm on 15 meters. And again, I could use the top right knob here to control where on the waterfall here that I'll be transmitting. And uh, it works. There's also stuff in there that you'd see like on Digital Master, like um, RSID, Reed Solomon ID, so that it will uh, show you, it'll detect the mode that it, that it hears. Um, I wonder if you could change the frequency right from here. Yeah, you can. Look at that. Well, I don't know. What, yeah, one. Oh, you go like this. Yeah, so a little, little there's probably a way I do that. I'd rather just go like this and go down. Go back to 20 meters. One, two, three. Go to pitch. Back up to FL Digi, boom. I am exclusively now in here. I don't need to go back to the SPX software. So that's that's pretty neat. Um, you know, digital modes are, are very fun. Um, digital modes at 20 watts, for those who are new to the hobby, using 20 watts or 15 or 10 watts on PSK31 can get you all over the world. But the difference is you can actually have a conversation. I wish somebody was on here. I don't see anybody. There was one earlier, but man, um, PSK31 used to be booked down here on this waterfall. And you could just you know go through and pick, uh, pick all kinds of contacts and, and make contacts. But everybody is, you know where, FT8. Now, the thing I really don't like, see, this is the one thing I really don't like about FT8 is I use it for... Um, I'm going to close this. I use it for uh, testing out propagation on PSK reporter, you know, reverse beacon to see where my, where my signal is going, you know, and uh, 
testing some stuff. So what I want to show you though is FT8, okay. One thing about FT8 is this thing is pretty much completely automatic. Uh, you really don't need <laughs> any 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 keyboard interaction with this at all. All you'd have to do is just click on this right here and it'll I mean there it goes. Let's send them back, you know. That's kind of really and then it'll take over from there and that's it. So you're just gonna watch this thing, whereas digital modes like PSK thirty one, you can actually talk. Ready you can type, hey, how are you? Play with this radio, what's going on? What's wow, what's the weather like there? And talk. So FT eight works in this shell here without having to use the JT WSJTX software. Um, but uh, yeah, I, I prefer to have uh, keyboard to keyboard you know, communications. And remember, look at my videos in the past, different digital modes are built for different things. Domino X and, and some, you know, some of them are made specifically for 80 meters and to get through static crashes. Some are made for when you have good propagation and need fast speed. Some are made to, you know, for, for different reasons. Um, so don't let those digital modes die. Use them and keep them alive. And if you have an S bit X version three and I'm on PSK 31, I'm probably on this. It's so much easier to do it this way. Hope that helps.